Hi everyone. Holy crap, it's been a while since I've had one of these on. Yes, that's me, floating like a little mermaid in the deep oceans in 2009. But um, to better illustrate who I am, let me introduce you to some of the many lives I led. Well, actors, we're all very um, self-absorbed. It's... Oh. Click back. No, don't, don't click. Don't click. Sorry. <laughs> set it straight, I am a multiple award-winning actress. <laughs> Self-absorbed, albeit. That is until the 21st of June 2009, where a terrible incident uh, caused me spinal cord injury. Uh, I had to have emergency surgery. I remember it was Father's Day. I remember I had also prepared an ox tongue to be roasted for family lunch. I also remember, actually, that I was in a play that was running at that time, Eve Ensler's The Good Body, which is really ironic if you think about it, because I was really not having a very good body day. Um, I remember being so worried about those two things that as I was being wheeled around the hospital, slipping in and out of consciousness, I was running my lines, and I was screaming orders at someone to go and roast that damn tongue. <laughs> because I, I guess I just had no idea what I was going through. Um, for three days after the surgery, um, I had three days of morphine, which was self-administered at the touch of a button. And um, for some reason, I recall people telling me to keep on pressing the button, you know, if I as much as squeaked, which I often did. I mean, administer the drug, I mean, not squeak because for, you know, they seemed to think it was funny if I got high. 
and we really needed a lot of funny in room 816 that time. Um, my mother, my poor mother, was beside herself. My dad had to rush down from up north, because that's where he lives. And, um, I mean, I had lost so much weight in the first few days that even I was worried. And quite honestly, I mean, since when have women been worried about losing weight, right? <laughs> but literally, uh, my skin was hanging off my arms, although if you look at them now, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> you know. Basically, when I came round, my room was filled with flowers and cushions and rugs. I had a fridge brought in. I had a TV. I had a microwave oven that actually caused a blackout once. <laughs> so I guess it's lucky I wasn't on life support at the time. Um, and uh, I even had uh, my favorite artwork facing me, hanging on the otherwise drab hospital wall, and I had a big bowl, life's big bowl of cherries by my bedside. In other words, I felt the love with a capital L from my friends and my immediate family, to say the least. And it was very emotional and overwhelming to be awake, and to be able to feel this. Um, then it suddenly dawned on me as I looked around the room and I thought, oh God, this is not just the hospital room, is it? <laughs> this is gonna be home for a while. Yeah, three months to be exact. That's a pretty long while. Um, I guess the injury was a lot more serious than I could have ever imagined. I have spinal cord injury on my L1, my, which suffered a burst fracture. And in the six hours of surgery, I think the surgeons placed two titanium plates and eight screws on my back. Um, and uh, well, my legs, my beautiful legs, had finally become the ones I had always dreamed of, long and slim, except they weren't really listening to me for now. So I asked my doctors, well, I didn't really ask them because all they said to me was, it's all up to you now. All up to me? Well, that kind of puts a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> I mean, well, what are you talking about? I'm used to being other people. I'm used to making pe other people laugh and cry, angry even, playing other people's stories, playing different characters in other people's stories. Well, what do you mean up to me? <laughs> I don't even know who I am. <laughs> or oh, what kind of a person I really am. So now to say to me that it's all up to me, uh, I mean, I can't really see myself, can I? Because I'm behind my eyes. So I decided that I really needed to use people as my mirror. And then when I got out of hospital, I soon realized that I was no longer Ida Narina. Is it? Is that how you see me? It's okay, it's a rhetorical question, so don't, be, don't panic. <laughs> um, I started seeing what my mirrors saw, or what my mirrors see, that I am disabled. You know, I get into the funniest situations with people, you know, in, in town or whatever. Um, one time, for example, 